What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. In today's test drive, what about a 1972 Dodge Charger? Of course, this one's got the 318 AC power steering, power brakes, a good, reliable, clean car. You can see it's just beautiful up under the hood. It's that way all the way around, guys. There's detailed pictures inside out and underneath at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on this ride. We got disc brakes in the front. A lot of new chrome accessories all the way around. Aftermarket set of wheels. There's financing and shipping available on these rides as well. Just go to maplemotors.com. Every Monday we update the new inventory. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Look how beautiful this car is on the inside, guys. You know you gotta place the bet. Do you think the horn works? Coming across your dash. Looks pretty good. Showing 83,000 miles. Let's get it to pop up. Boom. Hit the ignition. Good power steering there. Let's see, let's cut this on. If I can figure out how to cut it on. I'm gonna try to cut the AC. These controls feel new. That gets it there. We're on cold, but nothing's happening yet. I'll look around a little bit more. nice to have a few receipts in the glove box at least and it's nice and clean in there see up under the dash it's all been re redone for the AC that I still haven't figured out how to cut on I figured it'd be this front switch here but you can't pull on it that looks like fan to me I don't know why it's not kicking on radio Radio's cutting on. Would have had anywhere else. Good deal. So we've got that. Wipers. And they're working pretty good. Um, we'll be watching the engine temperature. I had it running for a second. Uh, we need to go to the gas station too. Get a little bit of fuel. Make sure we don't run out here. Back seat. Humongous. Headliner is nice and clean. Turn signals, click in there, also there. Can't see it on the dash there though. Or that side. Horn, did you place your bets? No, they didn't hook it up. So it doesn't work, I kind of thought it would've. Let's set the road, see what else we can find. All right, get my seat belt on here. I've driven this one once before. We get a lot of trade-in, so people will trade in cars. Um, the guy that bought this one, I believe he traded it in or sold it back to us for something else. We buy them back all the time. It's pretty common. So we're gonna take off here. There's reverse for you. Oh, hey. Hey, come on. That's my boy, he just showed up. You didn't wanna go to dance with your sister? Be careful, there's a camera over there. Go ahead and shut it. Let's see how you look. See if you can back up without getting in the way here. Okay, now we're all positioned and ready to go. You showed up just in time. I figured you'd want to go to dance class. <laughs> no comment. We're going to run out to the gas station here. Rolling down the road. Looks like our speedometer is not correct. It's just stuck on 30. But this car is going straight down the road here. Tight steering, shifting good. It's hitting the brakes right now. And they feel fine. Back in the throttle here. Decent. Back on our brakes. As far as running and driving, it's not too bad going down the road here. Definitely want to stop and get a little bit of gas. Well, 
that bar motor just started working. That switch is the right switch that I was using earlier. I don't know why it was delayed or why it took so long to cut on, but it did. Cut it off because it was warm air coming out. It set on cold. I'm going to say it may need uh, some attention to get the AC back working. I don't see any kind of switches or anything that I've missed. Suspension's quite smooth. Pulling up in here. Number eight. Let's get some gas. I think the gas gauge is gonna work. It's kind of a little bit above the E, but I just wanna make sure. I'll be right back. Golly, this thing looks good up here. I'm telling you, every time I get these cars away from the lot, they stand out. $20 worth of 93 gives us almost five gallons. It's got a locking gas cap. Check it, reversed. It's a little stiff there, but it comes on up. Locking gas cap works. Looks old school, but works good. All right, gas gauge. I gotta say it's gonna work. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh. Our ignition has got a little sweet spot to it. Let's try this. Hold on. Okay. I guess it's in the shifter there. But yes. Gas looks like it's working to me. That's way higher than it was when we first pulled in. I'm hoping it goes up a little bit more. If not, it's got a large gas tank. Get out of here.
Tell you what, AC's cold now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I just gotta leave it on for a little while. We'll cut it off. Compressor was spinning. I did the walk around video. Uh, oh boy, help me out here. Getting the intro going. I kind of like that. We might need to do that more often. He worked up with me in the summer up here at the lot. Just a little bit at a time. He said he'd rather be up there than sitting at home with the girls. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, come on. Mostly played in the water and rode your scooter, but you learned a little bit about cars. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. You gotta manually turn off your turn signals. Pretty smooth. Temperature gauge never came up. Gas gauge ended up being half a tank. Like I said, it finally made its way up. Uh, speedometer's just stuck. We're always going 35. Always. Even at red lights. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn on this road. It's got a nice little bump in the middle of it. Get down on it. Woo! Nice little bump here in the middle of the road. Suspension feels just fine. And we get ready to pull back in the lot. I do appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in a minute. Picking out the flaws coming up next. Alright, so we're getting ready to walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our rides. And we'll go ahead and get started here. It's a pretty cool ride. What do you think? Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice up under the hood. Can you tell me anything about it? Looks like it's got uh, power brakes, power steering, and uh, AC. Sweet, man. That's a good start. We're going to do this all summer, man. <laughs> all right, I'm going to run around the bottom of the car. We're going to be walking and looking for any issues. Chrome on the front bumper looks great. Do got some chips up here in the front. Yeah, they're older bolts. So when they changed the bumper out, they kept the original bolts, I assume, and just shoved them back in there. You got some cracks in your turn signals. chips around your headlights there. Coming down this side. A little ding there on the uh, trim. Tires are in good shape. Nice wheels. Down the bottom here. A little ding there in the trim. Tires on the back look great. I think these wheels are new. A good indication, other than somebody taking them off and washing them on the inside, would be that the inside is so clean. 
ding here in the trim. What is that? It's like some grease or something. Picked it up off the road. That'll come off. We'll have to take it back to the cleanup bay. Oh, Billy, you want to clean it up when we get back? Sure. <laughs> back your midsection. This is a pretty slick car. This makes my job easy. Cover the top. A little bit of pitting there on that chrome. Little turn signal. Antenna. That actually looks new. I mean, come on. Trim around your front windows in great shape. In the plastic right there, it's been replaced. Front window, I don't see any chips or scratches. The trim. It's clean as a whistle. We got a little bit of pit in here. What is that? Might be some wax left over. Let's look at our back window. Light little scratches there. Somebody used a razor blade on it at one point to clean it up, I guess. Let's look in the back. Same with that back bumper. Nice and clean, but they changed the bolts out on this one. Put my magnet tag back. I don't want to put it a little lower. This thing's hitting. I don't like that it's hitting like that because you really got to pry on it just to put gas in it. Look behind the gas cap. I mean, come on. Super clean. And it does have dual exhaust. Seal in the trunk looks good. Your jams are nice and clean. Beautiful underneath. A little bit of surface rust on your package tray, nothing, nothing major there. Always check the edges of your trunk lid. They like to pick up rust. So far, this one's solid. Coming down with the lid. Oh, shut it a little harder. Let me slam it. Okay. Sometimes you gotta slam these old cars. Alright, coming down this side, lower portion first. Got a ding here. Little dings there. Back to midsection. Little wax. That'll come off. Yeah, left wax on some of the corners and stuff. Once that stuff dries, it really pops up. A little bit of pitting on your mirror. And that uh, little turn signal. Front window is beautiful. Pillar, you got some dings here. At least it's on the trim. That's an easy fix. All right, I'm going to open up the interior and see what else we can find. So 
checking the door panel out here. Your armrest looks like it's about the only place that's got a lot of wear. You know, you lay your arm up on top here as well. You see the same effect. But why wouldn't you roll the window down and throw your arm up in it? Bottom of the door. Always check it. Solid. Oh, we got a screw backing out. Might have to get the screwdriver out here in a minute. Seat's beautiful. Back seat. Let's move my bag. Hey, y'all want to see what I use to make these videos? Look below in the description. Pick up all the stuff you want. It does help me out when you buy it through my Amazon links. Looking great. Try it again without giving it gas. Okay. Yeah, Speedo's stuck. Engine temperature hasn't really changed. Gas gauge did come up to have a tank as we was driving. Now we're on like a, like a slope back here. Sometimes you can spin the clock and it'll start working again, but it didn't. Lower motor. Okay, it's cutting on. It is working now. We're on AC, but it's not doing anything. Sounds like a compressor's kicking on though. I'll leave it on just to see up front if it's spinning. The grease in the door hinge. Yeah, the pressure's kicking on. Is that button not hooked up? Am I missing something? We'll try it again. It looks to me as if a little bit of antifreeze with that thermostat is cut off. It's leaking out, so there's a seal right here. It's dry, but just right here. Just a little bit of antifreeze. Coming down with the hood. Riding high, but I think we push it down. Guys, I do appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. If you hit like, that's another way to help me out. I mean, if you don't feel like leaving a comment or something. But yeah, that'll get the algorithm going. Get my videos boosted. Thanks again for that. I do appreciate it. MapleMotors.com has financing, shipping, detailed pictures, and all of our cars are updated on the website every Monday. I'll see you later. Wait. I heard it click. I just want to know why the horn's hooked up, but it's not honking. <laughs>